on the Small Cap Epicenter and Agoracom TV, a daily fast-paced, edgy show, bringing the best press release out of the Small Cap space every morning at the open, so you can only totally profit from them and maybe find your next great Small Cap Investments. Tuesday, February 22nd, happy belated family day to most of our friends in Canada, and happy belated President's Day to our friends out of the United States. Uh, with the markets closed yesterday, no wonder we've got a plethora of great press release today. i got five for you from the U.S. to Canada to China. Let's get straight to it. First up, Western Zagros Resources, TSX Venture Exchange, WZR. Uh, they announced that their block K44 Perspective Resources now exceed 1 billion barrels of oil and 1.75 billion barrels of oil equivalent. Uh, oil equivalent. This is the latest in a series of independent audits by Spruill International. This audit increased the combined mean estimate of gross unrisk prospective resource of the company uh, on Block 44 to exactly 1.09 uh, billion barrels of oil and 1.771 billion uh, barrels of oil equivalent when you factor in gas and condensate. Uh, Western Zagros holds a 40% working interest in Block for, uh, K44. This is a production sharing contract with the Kurdistan Regional Government signed back in February of 2008. And uh, this study was done in accordance with National Instrument 51101 uh, for a standard, uh, standard scores for oil and gas activities. Uh, the company looks like they're principally engaged in uh, looking for oil and gas uh, in Iraq. And they've got this product sharing, a product sharing contract in the Kurdistan region of Iraq. So you've got to like the numbers and you've got to like the fact that they're working with, uh, with the government there now. However, uh, Iraq, obviously, uh, probably a dangerous place to do business right now. A lot of political risk there, a lot of uh, all sorts of risk there. So the company closed uh, on Friday at 51 cents, uh, almost in the middle of its 52 week trading range, 87 on the high, 23 on the low. Looks like a market cap out of $105 million. So some great numbers there, uh, but you've got to crunch it because you can't just straight multiply uh, 1.7 billion uh, barrels of oil equivalent times $95, which is about the price of oil uh, lately. Nonetheless, Whatever's going on in the Middle East is helping them right now with oil moving up. So do your due diligence on Western Zagros. Next up, Northern Gold Mining, TSX Venture, NGM. Uh, they announced, listen these numbers, 58 meters of 1.08 grams ton of gold, including 2 meters of 13 plus grams per ton, plus 18 meters of 2.08 grams ton of gold, including a meter of 13.27 grams, and finally, two meters of 7.13 grams and one meter of 8.32 grams per ton of gold. These are as results for seven more diamond drill holes totaling of just under 1,500 meters on its ongoing 30,000 meter drill program at their Garçon deposit in the Garis, on the Garrison Gold property, which is located within the Abitibi uh, Greenstone Belt. That property has two advanced stage exploration targets on it, each of which has an NI-41 compliant mineral resource estimate. So some great numbers, uh, some great validation through two 43-101s on two of their uh, targets there. So go take a closer look at the company. So, and congratulations to Martin Shevsky and his team. Closed Friday, 48 and a half, right at 52 equal high, basically 50 cents on the high, 10 and a half cents on the low. So a lot of very happy shareholders there. Next up, Malbec Resources Venture Exchange, M MBG. Uh, they're reporting five meters of 48.34 grams ton of gold within 103 meters, averaging 2.84 grams per ton of gold. These are results from two holes at the company's Del Carmen Gold Silver Project in Argentina. Go take a look at all the numbers. These are some fantastic numbers. I really like what I see here. And I don't know a lot about Malbex. Uh, what I do know is they hold an indirect 100% interest in three exploration projects in Argentina's El Indio Gold Belt which hosts over 40 million ounces of gold in past production current reserves. Two of the projects are in close proximity to Barracks Veladero and Pascualama gold deposits. So, hey, you like, uh, you like the proximity at the same time. you got to like these numbers. Really sweet. Uh, close Friday, 80 cents, 95 on the 52 week high, 20 in the low. A lot of happy subscribers, uh, shareholders there, sorry. Mark cap about $80 million. Gives you about 100 million shares. Outstanding. Definitely worth looking up. Let's move over to China. J.A. Solder, uh, it's trading on the NASDAQ under J.A.S.O., uh, my apologies. Fourth quarter and full year results uh, for 2010. This is one of the world's largest manufacturers of high-performance solar cells and solar products. Uh, these are results for the period ended December 31st. Here are the highlights. Record fourth quarter shipments, 463 megawatts. That's an increase 11% sequentially. I love that. 
100% year over year. Full year revenue, $1.78 billion. That's an increase of 211%. Gross margin, I was really impressed with this, 21.7% versus 12.8% in 2009. That's a huge jump. We're talking about 75% increase in their gross margin. Love that number. That translated to net income of $266 million. Gap earnings per share, $1.61. I'll talk about why that's important in a second. Fourth quarter net income, 118, uh, we call it $119 million. Gap earnings per share, 59 cents. We're going to talk about that as well. Strong balance sheet, uh, cash balance, $347 million. Now, why do I want to talk about those numbers? For the full year, gap earnings per share, $1.61. Company closed at $8.51 on Friday. Uh, based on these numbers, you're buying the company just over five times earnings, and they're growing uh, top line uh, by 211%. And they're growing bottom line, their gross margins by 75%. So uh, that's cheap on its face if, you look, if you're looking at growth. And then if you factor in fourth quarter earnings per share gap, 59 cents, let's call it 60 just to make the math easy. Uh, if they can continue, that's a big if. If they can continue that kind of margin, uh, that kind of earnings per share over four quarters, they're going to bring in $2.40. So you're talking about a company that's, gonna, that's potentially trading at three and a half times forward earnings all the way around. This is a big win, even though it's trading at eight dollars and fifty-two cents. Uh, fifty-two high, ten twenty-four. Fifty-two close, four twenty-two. You've got to look into these numbers. These are really good, and uh, I love China and I love solar, and uh, I just think these are worth looking into. And finally, like we say, not all that glitters is gold. Ada Inc. trades on the Nasdaq under ATAI. Uh, they put up their third quarter uh, results for December thirty-first, two thousand ten. Revenues up seventy-eight percent to 20 to uh, 20.6 million dollars which exceeded their guidance net income up 384 percent to 4.7 million dollars big numbers there they closed friday 453 459 is a 52-week high 272 is a 52-week low and they provide computer-based testing and test related services in china uh you know we think about china so if a company's putting out these kind of numbers that warrants more due diligence on your end that's a wrap uh, five great press releases. I can't even say it's a quality over quantity day because uh, we have five awesome press releases. In fact, we have to cut out a couple just to keep the show short. Uh, as always, if you look for more great small cap resource and energy uh, companies that we've covered and you watch this on Globe Investor, then I'd look below me or to the left of me, depending on the page you're on, to look at the companies we've covered over the past few days. Otherwise, get up to the front page of Gorecom if you're not already there. Watch the show on a daily basis or watch through our syndication partners. Take a look at the best headlines right on the front page and get into the directory to discover your next great small cap investment. That's a wrap. Have an amazing day. See you tomorrow.